Hello, this is Physics 103. This is on nuclear physics. And in this lesson, we are going to uh, learn about the uh, useful application of radioactive decay, which is carbon dating. So the process of carbon dating assumes that uh, all living forms, all living beings is made up of carbon. So they contain an amount of carbon and a, frac a fraction of that amount of carbon has a radioactive form which is carbon-14. So a fraction of that amount of carbon in living beings has a radioactive carbon for about so there is a uh, one carbon 14 in about 8.3 times 10 to the 11 carbon atoms so uh, where did this you might be wondering where did this carbon 14 come from so uh, these carbon 14 atoms are present in our atmosphere so it uh, this is produced by by when cosmic rays get bombarded in the atmosphere and carbon-14 atoms are are produced in that uh, reaction so as we inhale uh, carbon gas from the atmosphere as as plants uh, take carbon in their uh, system so all, technically all living beings are made up of carbon and a part of that carbon is carbon-14 so uh, carbon-14 or the isotope of carbon is a radioactive uh, element and it decays uh, via beta beta minus so uh, it undergoes beta minus and it decays to uh, nitrogen-14 for about a half-life of 5,730 years. So, uh, how, how is this used in determining the uh, life of a, a living being? So actually, carbon dating is used to determine when uh, when does a or what or what at what uh, time does a living being stop taking in carbon so in other words uh, it is dead so uh, the process of carbon dating determines when did a living being died. So when, when a living being is de already dead, it's carbon-14 uh, decays. And we can measure the amount of activity. So activity at a certain time. Certain, certain time and if we compare it with the activity if we compare it with the activity on when the living being uh, died we can measure the time interval between uh, the two so that is the process of carbon dating